Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're gonna to be talking about something that actually came across uh, my Instagram feed, which doesn't happen very often when I make videos, uh, but this was actually happening to someone that I've followed for quite a long time, and I would say we've become friends over the years. And so uh, recently, Nancy's journey, who if you're not familiar with who Nancy is, this is a, a before and after picture of hers. Um, she's someone that has lost a good amount of weight. Um, she has you know, made a social media and she's gained a social media follow following because of, you know, her weight loss and just her herself. She's a um, an interesting person. She's pretty funny, fun to follow for a lot of people, right? And so she kind of started posting about this stuff and about her weight loss. And eventually, the, over the years, she actually got in connection with uh, Buff Bunny Collection, which is just like another one, another influencer uh, clothing brand, you know, activewear brand by the influencer Buff Bunny, who is dating Christian Guzman, who's another influencer that owns Athlete, right? So they're all kind of connected, right? But she works with Buff, uh, Buff Bunny. And one thing that Buff Bunny tries to do is they try and make extended sizes. Um, so they don't only go up to like an XL, right? So they'll, they'll make extended sizes. And one of the people that they will use uh, as a model, basically to show off their clothes, is Nancy because she is in a larger body. And so Buff Bunny ended up making this post right here. And in this post, it's it's just Nancy kind of showing off the clothes, showing how they look, right? Just showing what what the clothes would look like in a larger body because I think something that a lot of people have had problem with is a lot of times these uh, activewear brands that will say they're size inclusive, a lot of times the, the clothes that maybe look good on someone that's in a small doesn't look the same for someone that might be in a 2XL or a 3XL, right? And so um, I'm assuming that the reason that they're showing Nancy is so that they can show someone that is in a larger you know, a larger size, how it actually looks on the person um, so someone can make a, an informed decision. So the response to this is basically what we're going to be talking about. So this post kind of, it didn't go viral, but it went kind of outside, I think, of where is normal for maybe like the Buff Punny collection um, Instagram to kind of go out to. And so there was a lot of comments talking about Nancy and her size and how they felt about having a plus size model, um, you know, modeling these clothes for a fitness clothing company, right? And so I'm sorry that these comments are a little small. This is the only way that I can see them on stream. Um, but this comment right here, right? So this is one of the most liked comments. Since when, since when obesity became the norm, right? And there are, there's just tons of comments like this, right? So this is another one. Not a fan of the unhealthy models. Um, no need to buy cute workout clothes when you are 300 plus because it's not going to look good. Lose weight, then buy the cute workout attire. Um, why, why do the darker colors look almost look see-through? Well, I'm, that's, that has nothing to do, <laughs> that has nothing to do, uh, with the, uh, you know, her size. Um, but then here's one. Do not make unhealthy normal. Absolutely nothing to do with looks, but obesity is the number one precursor to over 100 life-altering slash shortening illnesses. Uh, she is too beautiful and young to be this unhealthy. Bless her, right? So clearly someone that cares so much about um, Nancy's health, right? And so again, I do want to show you um, this is what Nancy used to look like, right? a few years ago. And so she has lost weight, but I think one thing that Nancy has struggled with, and this is something that happens very, very often when we're talking about someone that has had, um, that has garnered a following and on social media from their weight loss is they, she maybe has struggled to keep all of the weight off because as you can see in this, um, before or after picture, she was smaller than she is currently. And so I do think that there is com like, there is criticism that you can make, especially if you are someone that has been following Nancy um, for a long time. And if you are genuinely very aware of her journey and what she's been going through, you can say, hey, you know, I've been following her for a long time and, you know, she did lose a, a significant amount of weight, but then she gained it back. Like if that's a criticism you want to have, I think that's completely fair. But what I disagree with, and I want to make this very clear, saying that someone that's in a bigger body isn't basically allowed to have cute workout clothes. I just think is ridiculous. Like it, it's, it's one of those things that's like, why is it, why do people have such a visceral reaction to a bigger person clearly enjoying the clothes that they're wearing and promoting workout clothes to bigger people? Like I've always said, and I've always felt this way, like to shame someone like in the gym or someone that is bigger that hasn't lost the weight of wanting to look good or wanting to go to the gym at all because they 
are too big. It just doesn't make any sense, right? Like they clearly are going to the gym and working out to make that happen. So they do lose the weight. And like I said, I do think that there is genuine criticism to Levy if that's something that you wanna do, um, especially when we're talking about influencers and influencer culture when it comes to the gym and fitness and how that affects your life, right? So so Nancy is someone that has been posting for a very long time. Um, you know, she's been she's been around for a long time. So this this photo right here, this is from 2019, right? And so that was quite a few years ago at this point. And she was, you know, smaller then. And so clearly there's there is a journey there. She has struggled to keep that weight off. And I don't I'm not sitting here trying to shame her. I think that there is a bigger conversation to be had. And something that I I try and talk about often that I feel isn't talked about enough is when you are someone that ends up garnering a following because of the fact that you are trying to lose weight can be very dangerous, right? Dangerous might be kind of a hard word to use or like over the top word, but it can be it can make the journey that you're on, the fact that you're trying to lose weight, even more difficult because you have a lot of people that initially when they started following you, they started following you because they saw you as inspiration. But the reality of the matter is, right, if you are on a weight loss journey yourself, you are struggling with tons of stuff on your own, right? There's a reason you got to be the size that you did, right? And I'm speaking from experience. It was a very strange thing for me, and I was very lucky that I didn't really start obese to beast until I had basically lost most of my weight because Instagram really wasn't a thing. I am old, I know, but <laughs> Instagram wasn't really a thing. And so I didn't really start gaining a following until I had, I had actually already lost my weight. But it was a very strange thing, even just in real life personal things. I would have like people that I knew in real life start asking me for advice. But literally six months ago, I would have been the last person that, that person would have asked for advice about losing weight because I was 400 pounds. So they're like, clearly this isn't the guy to ask. But then I started losing weight and these people that I never would have expected to start asking me questions started asking me questions, right? And then on top of that, when you put the influencer thing on top of it, there's the weird parasocial relationship that kind of goes on and people really think that because you have this following, you have some sort of answer or that you are maybe doing better than you really are. You're not having these struggles when in reality, right? If you're someone that is an influencer and you gained a following because you are trying to lose weight, you clearly had a weight problem. And so there are things that you needed to work through and that you are probably still working through while also getting all of these followers and these followers are making you either, maybe they're making you feel more important than you are, or they just feel that you are maybe more important, but more realistically that you have more answers or you have, you are more put together than you really are. And that can make it really, really, really difficult to lose weight because you have, it's already hard enough to lose weight. I think we all know that, but then you're adding in the fact that you have all of these people following you and they're asking you questions or they're, they're judging every thing that you're doing and they're, they're looking at everything that you're doing that maybe scrutinizing everything that you're doing. It can make it a little bit more difficult. Now, I think that if you want to, you know, have some sort of criticism about that stuff with Nancy and the fact that she struggled, then that's fair. Like if that's what you want to do, that's clearly you're right. But I think, most of the comments on the post that I was that I'm referencing, right? So most of the comments on this post of the people that are just saying mean things, it is not based on Nancy. They don't know her. They haven't been following her for a long time. They they haven't been looking at the ups and ups and downs. I would say most of the people, or I'm sure there are some people, but most of the people haven't been looking at the ups and downs. So they just see a, a bigger woman modeling fitness clothing, and then therefore they're gonna leave a mean comment. I think that that is un it's unnecessary, right? That's the nicest way for me to put it. It's unnecessary. It's not helping anybody by you saying, this isn't like, by you being like, oh, fat people shouldn't be wearing this. Like that's not helping anyone. It, it really, really isn't. In my opinion, I don't think it's helping anyone. I think the more that people have options to maybe feel comfortable, um, the better, right? And I'm not saying that every woman that is Nancy size is going to feel comfortable in these clothes. I don't know right? They, these might be terrible clothes for a woman of that size, right? And not might not work at all. I don't know. It seems like Nancy likes them, right? And I can only take that at face value. If, if you're someone that's her size and you decide you don't want to wear them, fair enough, right? That's going to be up to you. But clearly it seems like she likes wearing them. She goes to the gym in them often. I've seen her stories about her wearing them. And so it seems like she likes to wear them at the very least. 
But I'm genuinely curious what people think because when I saw this, the comments, like the, I only read a few, there are so many of them. Like really, there's a lot. And I, I do feel for Nancy and I do think that Nancy is one of the people that can handle these types of comments better than most people. And so I, I guess in a weird way, I'm glad that she's the one dealing with it because if it was just some random person, right, that would be really hard to see. And so I just, yeah, I'm genuinely curious what other people think. I just thought this was a very, very interesting kind of thing that was going on in the fitness world. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Peace.